It's good to see you today. Welcome to Barlow Barbecue. Today we're making hot wings on a gas grill and we're going to show you just how easy it is to do. So stick around. It's a great day for grilling. Let's get started. All right, let's get this grill fired up. Today I'm using a Weber gas grill and I'm going to light two burners, turning those all the way up. There we go, it's lit. Let's close the lid and give this grill some time to warm up. And this is the chicken we're using today. It's a mix of flats and drums. You're going to want to pour a nice amount of olive oil in there to coat the wings with. This is going to help our dry rub stick a lot better. Be sure to mix those all up to get those coated in the oil. Now it's time to add the rub. Today we're using a caliente seasoning. It's a Mexican seasoning with a little kick. It's got garlic, cayenne, pepper, onion, a lot of different spices in it. It's really good stuff. We found this at our local Publix grocery market. So if you have a Publix next to you, nearby you, go check it out. See if you can find this stuff. So I'm just adding more rub and then stirring it around just to get all those wings coated as best as I can with that seasoning. Grill temp is reading 450 degrees, so I think it's time to get those wings on. All right, I can tell already this grill is running pretty hot, so I'm going to go ahead and turn the burners down to about halfway, so we're not going to burn this chicken. All right, so with all the wings on, let's go ahead and close this up and check back on these in about five minutes. All right, my timer just went off for five minutes, so it's time to check these wings. They're looking pretty good already. So what I'm gonna do now is just flip all of these over so we get even cooking on all sides. Now let's close the lid and give it another five minutes. And just like that, it's been another five minutes. Total cooking time up to this point has been 10 minutes. So let's flip these wings. Now I've been using a timer to check these wings every five minutes, but you don't need to be that technical. The point is you want to stick close by to the grill. So you're checking these frequently, nothing's burning and everything's cooking just fine. Now, before we close up the lid, I've got a bowl here with some butter in it and we're going to let this melt so we can use it later on for our sauce. Okay, total cooking time has been 15 minutes and those wings are looking nice. You see that nice golden brown color they're getting? That's what I'm looking for, folks. And you know the drill by now. Just got to keep flipping these wings back and forth, back and forth until they're done. And I think these are getting real close, but I just want to give them a little bit longer. Now the butter we put on earlier has melted, so let's add some Cholula chili garlic hot sauce to the mix. I think this is going to go nicely with the caliente seasoning we've got on the wings. But listen, you feel free to use whatever kind of hot sauce is your favorite. All right, Martha's got about half the bottle dumped in there. I think she's still going. Okay, that's good enough. Let's give it a little stir, get that nice and mixed up and we'll use that later on. All right, let's close up the grill and give these wings another five minutes. And another five minutes has gone by, so we've got a total of 20 minutes that these wings have been on and they are looking really, really nice. Love the color I'm seeing on these. And you know, I think I think these could probably go for just another few minutes. We've got some big drums in there. I just want to make sure everything is cooked all the way through. So let's give these one more turn and I think they'll be good to go after another five minutes. So let's close up the lid and I'll see you soon. All right, the final five minutes has passed. Total cooking time has been 25 minutes and take a look at these wings. They just look so good, don't they? I can't wait to try these out. But we got one more thing we got to do. We got to toss them in our hot sauce. So Martha here is just going to take about half the wings first, toss those in the, in the sauce, and then we'll grab the other half and throw those in there and do the same thing.
right, y'all, let's try out these wings. Now it is a little breezy here, so uh, pardon the audio if the wind gets in the way. All right, let's try out one of these wings. You could just make up your own audio. <laughs> you make up your own audio, that's right. Here we go, I'm just trying out a little drum right here. I got the flat. All right, drum and flat, let's go. Oh yeah. I knew before it even hit my mouth that it was gonna be good, y'all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had no doubts the whole time. Delicious. Still nice and moist, juicy chicken, not dried out at all. Um, that gasser did a great job. Hey, so did you, sweetie. I'm not used to working with gassers, but uh, I'm happy with the way this turned out. I think that the uh, part of the trick was just to kind of turn it halfway down a little bit so it's not too hot. Anyways, these are delicious, y'all. They sure are. I really like that chili mm. garlic oh, sauce yeah. on there. That's that was good. great. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You guys should try it out. And of course, that caliente seasoning. Yep. Pardon me. I put my sunglasses. Yeah, I feel like I'm there. covered in wings. Okay, this is really good. <laughs> I, I can feel the wind, so I know it's picking up. I don't want to ruin the audio, so we're going to wrap this one up. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today here in beautiful Naples, Florida, y'all. Paradise, okay? We love you, and we're going to say until next time, smoke them if you got them. That's right. We'll see you later.